Um, number one, uh, Mr. Willis is, I'll call you Brent. Brent Thank you. is one of those guys that, uh, uh, he'll, he'll tell you a little bit more of his backstory, but I'm gonna steal his thunder on one of them. And that is, I wanted to congratulate him in front of everybody on his Black Knights beating Navy uh, <laughs> last weekend. Brent has an <laughs> army background. Yeah, I knew you were gonna you were you were walking a little taller the, these days. You know, Pretty much. The office this week, bragging rights that you beat Navy. So we beat Navy, and on. and Dan, we are undefeated in World Wars. Two and zero. <laughs> You're still undefeated in World Wars. That's right. And so I love I love that about Brent. I I was before you jumped on Brent, I was just kind of giving a little bit of my background and uh, and to kind of bring that to a close. Um, in all my years of being part of this company. Uh, it wasn't until two years ago that I actually became co-owner of this company. Uh, and that was something that was never going to be afforded to me in the previous ownership of, of Marinda T. Shinoni. And so when we were acquired by New Age, uh, one, of the, one of the craziest things that, uh, that happened to me was, you know, after, and, and to just give a quick little fun story, you know, when companies merge together, employees start to get a little bit nervous. You, you start to avoid the HR personnel because they start walking around with envelopes and everything and you just, you're a little nervous in the office well the day after the merger was announced with with new age the hr came around and, and handed an envelope to me and and i thought oh man this is how it this is how it ends this is this is the day and uh you know open up the the paper and i was given stock equity in the company and brent immediately was, was referring to people as co-owners and so my introduction to Brent is to just share with you that, that my favorite thing about him is his vision to help everybody top to bottom in the company, no matter what your title is, no matter what your position or role is with the company, to experience the opportunity to, to change your generational wealth through equity ownership. And so I want to introduce him, but also thank him at the same time uh, in front of everybody and uh, present to everybody the CEO of New Age, Mr. Brent Willis. Brent, the call is yours. Hey, Dan. Uh, hey, everybody. Hey, Andre. Um, How you doing? Well, Dan, you, you, you don't even know it, Dan, but uh, the board met last week and you just um, were issued some more uh, restricted shares and options. So congratulations. So I didn't I didn't remember that you got that previous award, so maybe I should pull that back because maybe it's a bit too much. <laughs> Is it too much ownership? I will never top, tell you to stop that. So <laughs> so, you, you can keep on doing that as long as you want. I appreciate it. Um, Thank you, sir. Well, you know, guys, I'm feeling um, I'm feeling guilty. Today is the first day that I can remember that I did not work. And I typically only work half days anyway, right? Which is, as Dan knows, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is technically a half day. Uh, and I typically only do that because, you know, I think, you know, um, success in any company, it, it really does come down to the people, right? And your willingness to align to a common cause and your willingness to uh, share in the common passion to create something special right it does come down to the people right and i feel you know in this role and i see it just as a role that i work for all of you guys so andre when you say brent jump i will say how high sir right so and i at least have a three inch vertical leap man so uh uh, uh so um that's how i view this role uh, is I work for everybody. And my job is to uh, um, uh, be that servant leader for everybody here. And it's very different than being a, a founder. I'm not a founder. I don't even like founders. Uh, uh, I'm just the CEO, which means I work for all of you. But found, the, the, the reason I don't like founder is it creates these entrepreneurial companies that are based off of them and their charisma and what they do. And it also creates these companies where they take the money, they take the bank, they get the, they get the riches, they get the resources. And so I said, that's bullshit, right? Because they don't do the work. 
we do the work, right? So, and what I love about our company and, and our industry, it doesn't matter if you went to Yale or jail. It doesn't matter where you came from. All that matters is what's in your heart, your willingness to embrace the grind and do the work because it's work to be successful in anything. And what's in your heart and if you're willing to serve others, right? That is really the only key to success here, right? Because the company on this side, because we're not founder led, look, we are structured entrepreneurs. We want to employ speed. We want to employ competitive advantage. We want to employ a decisiveness and maneuverability on the battlefield in a way other companies that are bigger than us because we're the only, only the 20th largest on the planet today. We want to employ all of those things to kick everybody's behind, right? That's, you know, we want to crush their coconuts, right? Because that's fun to do it, right? It is just fun beating, beating them down. So, um, uh, but that's why we created this company. Three reasons. One, make a difference for people with healthy products, right? Make a difference for the planet. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I never share this stuff, but um, uh, I'm 60 years old now. I know I look like a 16 year old stud and I am, and I'm still making babies because I drink Noni every day. I know it. Uh, not really. Cause my wife tells me I don't, uh, but um, look, we created this company because uh, I wanted to make a difference for the planet with healthy products, right? And and that's why I wanted to partner with Noni because that's what they stand for, right? But my granddad, who comes from Mount Selinda, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, died at age 60. Uh, and he, he lived a pretty unhealthy lifestyle. And my father, that was also born in Africa, died at age 60. And he, drank, he, he smoked three packs of cigarettes a day and drank heavily and all of those, you know, kind of bad habits and stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I try to, to live a healthy, principled lifestyle. But I said, look, if we can make a difference for the planet with healthy products, I'll feel good about it. And honestly, I feel guilty about, you know, when I was president for the Coca-Cola company because I was proud at the time, but today... You know, I know those products are just so bad for you, so unhealthy, especially the diet soda. So we created the company for that reason. The second reason we created is because uh, I was pissed off. <laughs> uh, I said, look, there are so many segments of our society worldwide that are disenfranchised, that, are, that don't have opportunities, that don't have the same access to educational opportunities or because of their religion or their gender or the color of their skin, they are discriminated against. And I just said, it's just, it's just, it's just bullshit, right? That's not how our planet and our, our society should be. And is there a reason that a female in the Middle East, let's say, should not have as many of opportunities as anybody else or somebody, a, a woman in Japan or China should not have the same opportunities as a male or somebody in the inner cities in the United States should have, you know, fewer employment opportunities than somebody else. It's just, it's just, it's just bullshit. So I said, look, we're going to create this company where it doesn't matter where you came from. All that matters is what's in your heart and your willingness to embrace the grind, right? And your willingness to serve others. And if you are willing to embody that and be a good person, um, then we are going to structure it where everybody will have unlimited wealth and generational wealth through stock ownership. And in I'm happy in the 18 months that we have owned Marinda, we have made about 10,000 of our reps around the world fellow shareholders. Uh, and I feel good about that, right? Because then you're not just getting a commission, then you're not just a rep or a distributor or, or an employee, you are a fellow owner. And you get, when next time you go to a party, if we can ever go to parties again, 
you get to say, hey, I don't, you know, I, I don't work for Miranda or whatever. I own the damn thing. It's my company. It's, I'm the owner of New Age, right? So, um, and that's a complete different feeling of pride and a complete different feeling of professional accomplishment. And it will be completely different in terms of wealth creation and earning uh, money through stock appreciation over time. We didn't create this company for a $3 share price. We didn't create it for a $10 share price. We wanna to get to substantial wealth creation for everybody. And we've structured it, and people don't know this, but this is a big piece of my job that I gotta do. We've structured it from a, uh, a market capitalization standpoint and a financial standpoint, where we kind of have this unlimited financial runway in front of us, where we can all be fellow owners of this mother. So, uh, so I, I wanna be fellow owners with all of us, right? Cause it's, it's, just, it's just different, right? Because then we both have care for it. We, we all we all already do have care and love and everything for it. But that was the second reason we created this company, is uh, is to drive generational wealth creation, and to overcome the income inequalities and overall inequalities that I see that I want to make a difference against that I just think are bullshit, right? Um, so that's the second reason we created. The third reason we created the company is personal. This is what it was for me. And as a, as a West Point guy, as a military guy, I wake up every day and I want to kill something. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I, 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 I just I want to be in the fight, right? So um, uh I, I'm praying this isn't recorded and I see it's been recorded. So I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but you know, it's true. I want to beat down these bad actors. And guess what? There are some bad actors out there that, that continue to operate without consequences. Take the four largest tobacco companies in the world. They kill 6 million people a year from tobacco related diseases, 6 million a year, the top four tobacco companies. That's who dies from, from uh, uh, tobacco related diseases every single year, 6 million around the world. Preventable disease, right? One of the most preventable diseases, lung cancer in the world from just stopping smoking, right? And still 20% of the global population still smokes, right? Uh, and guess how much money those companies make. Even with all the taxes that governments throw on them, those companies still throw off four billion of free cash flow a year. It is unconscionable, right? So consequences, oh, I'm paying all these guys big bonuses. I'm throwing off money for the executives and I generate four billion of free cash flow a year. It is, it's, it's, it, it, it ain't right. Take um, the soft drink companies or the companies that make processed foods and those kinds of things. Look, in China, they may have given us coronavirus, but we are giving them back uh, diabetes because with all the soft drinks and the craft foods and those kinds of things, there's 400 million pre-diabetics in China. 400 million pre-diabetics. That's a lot, right? And diabetes and type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular health is a huge issue around the world because of all the soft drinks and because of all these things. Do you guys know, uh, you know, if there's 6 million people that die a year from tobacco-related diseases, do you know how many people die a year from diet and nutrition-related uh, issues? 12 million. And no consequences for these companies, right? So we will never, ever, ever compromise in the efficacy of our products, in the quality of our products, in what we stand for for consumers. And we will, we will, we're going to be in the fight against these guys, right? To teach them a lesson. And, 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 and they're an outcome of us doing the right thing. We do the right thing by consumers. Cons we, we inspire and educate the planet to live healthy and consumers will gravitate to our kinds of products and away from the kinds of things that they sell, right? Because the education will get out there. 
I love the portfolio that we have. I love the expanded portfolio that we have with RX that we're making available to, uh, to everybody around the world. And I love that we are a purpose-driven company out to make a difference for the planet and, and, and quietly work on the income inequalities around the world in, in different segments, even in the United States of our society, that is just not right. It's just not fair. So that's, that's what I'm dedicated to, right? And I am, I am, I'm me. Right. I'm I don't I don't take no for an answer. Right. I'm here for performance. I'm here to win. And I don't think uh, that's it. Full stop. Right. So uh, I, um, uh, I I find it an honor to work with guys like you, Andre, and this entire company. Um, I believe my job is to work for you. So you're my boss and whatever you need, it is my job to facilitate it and provide it. And um, I'm going to play my role, play my position, and I'll keep draining them from from the half court line uh, anytime you give me the ball. So um, uh, I appreciate the opportunity and uh, appreciate the opportunity to get to know all you guys on the phone. And, I, and I'm here and available and I, and I live to serve you guys. Wow. Uh, I got like three pages full of notes. <laughs> That is amazing. Uh, thank you so, so very much for your time. But, you know, as you were saying a few things, a couple of things popped in my mind. Um, and I hear the concept of omni-channel, which is very different in our industry. You know, our industry, you know, direct sales, you, you order the product, ship to the customer. But, you know, omni-channel was something new that I, I heard of. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, omni-channel and why is that so unique to our company and how is it going to be beneficial for everyone? Yeah, so I don't uh, want to be another Amway. I want to kick their behinds. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't want to be an Amazon. Uh, I don't want to be just another direct seller, and I don't want to be just another distribution company. I want us to be better, and I want us to define our new game. So, you know, Dan said, you know, I went to the academy, and that, uh, I, um, you know, you know, if you're the West Point football team and you got like 200 pound linemen and you're going up against Alabama or Michigan or whatever, and they're getting, they got 300 pound beasts on the front line and stuff, you know, you're going to get your behind handed to you when you got, you know, competitors that are running, uh, you know, forties and like four, three, and you got, you know, little guys, right? Like, like Dan Talley, right, on your team. So what do you do in that context? And the answer is you've got to play your own game. We're only the 20th largest in the uh, world, according to the direct selling news. And so what that means is we have to continue to disrupt. we got to continue to play our own game. And omni-channel means only two things. Number one is I'm going to make you more bank it really just means that I'm going to make you more bank. Uh, because, <laughs> hey, I love it. <laughs> but, but I'm going to make you more bank by providing you new earning streams from new channels and new ways to earn money. The second thing it means uh, is I'm going to provide you all of the latest social selling tools. So we evolve our peer to peer selling into really creating an army of influencers, right? Because we're all influencers, whether we realize it or not. We're nano influencers, macro influencers, micro influencers, or major influencers. But we're all influencers. We sell and we expand our networks these days through Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and those kinds of things. We can't do the meetings like we, like in-person meetings like we used to do. We may never be able to do those things again. So. We have to provide all of the world-class social selling tools and, uh, and affiliate marketing tools. And so what I want to be is, 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 is have like the Dollar Shave Club irreverent hundreds of millions of database of consumers that we bring into the ecosystem that I can then provide as leads for all of our reps, right? That are the future advocates and reps for us to expand so we can have hundreds of thousands of reps going forward. But 
we have some patented social selling technologies in the in our company that came with RX that we we in the future will now be able to provide you these social selling tools that will have no enrollment, that will have no uh, uh, minimums, that will have no ten times markups or markups of products. Right? It would be the same retail price, and you'd be able to sell these kinds of things. So. We have the tech. We're the only ones in the world with it. Give us a little patience to do it um, and, and bring it out and roll it out. We're test marketing that in Japan right now. Um, but the opportunities for us in terms of omni-channel, which all it means is more bank for our reps who we serve and we're dedicated to uh, across as many income streams as possible. That's all it means, right, is, is a way to make more bank. <laughs> so. love, it, love it love it now the other thing that popped in my mind um never never been in the in the military my wife uh she was in the military and but but i love war movies and and the thing i love about war movies is is always the strategic planning and being that you're from west point we have always as distributors in the field saying you know we're, we're at war against poverty so going into 2021, the battlefield is set. We're, we're at war against poverty. What would your strategic battle plan for 2020 look like, knowing that we're going against this war against poverty? Um, I love the question because um, you, you probably don't know this, Andre, but going to the academy and then serving the country in the military I had to study every single battle from the beginning of time, right? Wow. And when uh, and and I use those lessons every day and the principles of war from like Clausewitz from 1812. I use those lessons every day in business. And before there are companies, and because the the first brand in the world was a brand called Bass Ale, uh, a beer. Uh, that was the first world's first brand in like the 1800s. In like the 1600s and the 1500s, there weren't companies. There was just fiefdoms and there was just, there was just war. So war and fiefdoms have emanated into these things that we call companies. The organizational structures that we have uh, have been emanated out of what Napoleon created. So I studied all of these battles and all of these strategies and I used the strategies from the military, honestly, dude, every single day. And if I look at our 2021 um, uh, uh, business plan, the way we operate the company is we have a three-year strategic plan that we do mid-year and then we do an annual business plan. I just presented that to the board of the directors uh, last week and they're like, man, this is the shiz, Brent. This is solid. So, uh, uh, and uh, so we've got um, geographic growth opportunities. We have financial growth opportunities, and then we have product growth opportunities. So we're going to win in North America, Europe, which is a big focus area for us, uh, China and Japan. So those are our four focus geographies. But we have a few emerging uh, plays in the southern cone of Africa and in Latin America that we are nurturing. That's from a geographic standpoint. So we're not gonna to try to win everybody everywhere. One of the principles of war is mass. And so you have to mass your resources where you can um, strike a decisive blow at the decisive point in time. Um, another one is maneuver, right? And so you gotta protect your flanks also. So, um, uh, and, and another one is economy of force. So you allocate minimum essential combat resources to secondary efforts, right? So we're not gonna spend a lot of money in Bosnia and those kinds of things. And actually I'm probably gonna close down probably 20 markets that just don't make sense for us, right? That, that suck out resources or time or money or stuff like that. So that's it, it from a geographic standpoint. And from a product standpoint, we're gonna be doing a lot of cross-pollination of brands. So the RX side of the business has a lot of fantastic products. We got a lot of good products on the Noni side. We're gonna cross pollinate that because we got about 200,000 reps and distributors on both sides of the business. And now we can sell that whole stuff, right? So, uh, and the products are, are pretty fantastic. 
Uh, also for women, we're launching Lash and Lip. And in, in the healthy appearance platform, uh, those are two of the fastest growing categories. So, um, you know, I just, I came home from work uh, uh, last week or came back from Utah and my wife, and she had these big old lips and I'm like, honey, what the hell is going on? And she goes, oh, I went to the, the whatever and somebody injected some Restylane in my lips. And I said, honey, you look like a fish. I didn't wait. That wasn't a good night, right? But <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You look like a fish. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but we have the natural lip stuff. So you don't have to inject crap into your lips like Restylane or, or whatever. And, and the natural, truly, really growing lash stuff that, that affects a lot of women. So we're launching those products, but we got all the probiotics we're launching now, the loose some skincare stuff that we're launching, the Noni shots that we're launching around the world. Uh, CBD in a very significant way and a big push on immunity, right? Because we've got all this science and all these patents and people need to increase their baseline health because my assumption is for our 2021 business plan that COVID is going to be with us in some kind of form, right? It really sucks, but we got to deal with it, right? So in that kind of context, you know, if you have bad habits, uh, or if you're not working out, you know, you just, you got to get rid of that stuff because it's going to take you down and make you more susceptible to one of the most horrific diseases um, on the planet. And so, uh, but we've got all these great products that increase your baseline health, including Noni, but also cell defense and those kinds of things. And anybody that's not taking those products on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, I just think are you know, they should, we need to get the word out on these things because they really are so good for people to increase your, uh, your NK killer cells in your body from Noni and to increase your lymphocytes in your body that frankly ward off tumors and cancers and all those kinds of things. So um, we'll make a big push on the immunity pieces. But the other big thing is, you know, we want to be open arms, right? To people, right? I don't know why any distributor or rep would ever work for a company like uh, Jeunesse, for example, or another uh, direct selling company out there because look, we have the best compensation system. We have the best product portfolio. We provide stock for everybody. We're not assholes. Uh, um, we have the bill of rights for, for our reps that, that is expanding everywhere now that says, you can never, there's no screwage clause. You can never get hosed like you can in some of these other companies, right? Um, we have a philosophy of serve the reps, serve our distributors first, right? Put them first, work for them and empower them, drive their personal growth, their pro professional growth, their, their, their growth in their own health and their financial growth, right? I don't know any other company in this industry that has that philosophy. And we're continuing to push the envelope with all these latest, greatest new tools, omni-channel, social selling, all these kind of things. So we need to just tell the planet about, we need to outreach and outreach to our brothers and say, look, we're the shiz. Come, come be part of this team, right? So I, I, don't, I, I wish I knew a better way to get the word out. Uh, but um that's, that's some components of our 21, 2021 plan. But I think we're gonna crush it. We'll probably, we'll probably buy a few more things too, right? So we'll see. So battle plan, your, your market shares in these major markets, North America, Europe, Japan, Latin America, South Africa, concentrate driving your, getting your personal market share in there from a product standpoint will be basically solving a lot of uh, challenges uh, in people's bodies. So really focusing on helping people build their baseline immunity in 2021 by incorporating our products and a healthy lifestyle. And uh, the women feature, which is key because yeah, I, I live in a house, I've got uh, two daughters, my wife, and you know, they, they, they run things and- I, I feel your pain, brother. I got lips. five daughters. Five <laughs> oh, daughters. you have five? I'll pray for you tonight. I need it. I think I, I did something wrong in high school that God is punishing me, right? So with five women, but five daughters, can you believe it? And at age 60, still making babies. I got a three-year-old at home because I drink Noni every day, right? So just, I mean, it, it gives you that special something. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. 
that is phenomenal. And and the last piece is basically I've got here, you know, blitz all out massive action. It's it's time, you know, you're on the field, you know, get your troops together, get your general together, and it's time to head in and take massive action in 2021. You got it, man. That is excellent. So I, I know you've got a busy schedule. I thank you so much for taking your time or, uh, away from your family and your, your five daughters and your wife and being on here with us. Uh, any last nuggets you'd like to leave us with before we go? Uh, I'm here to serve you. Uh, this, uh, honestly, whether you've been with this company for 10 years, 10 months, or 10 days, it, it doesn't matter. This is the really uh analytically the ground floor right it is all upside from here uh in in so many different respects of our lives and i feel lucky to be right here right now at this moment and you know not all of us are smart enough to recognize when you're in that moment but you know i i have enough of experience to know we are in that moment and that's why i'm just i'm just i'm just going for it right so this is the time and we'll all benefit in our families and hopefully our kids and our kids kids will benefit from what we're creating right now and, and the choice and the opportunity we have in front of us right now that is amazing well Mr. Brent Willis, I thank you so much. And I will say this, my uh, my 20 years in the industry, you're probably one of the realest CEO I've ever met. You was just like, <laughs> here it is. And that's how it is. And I'm like, I've never gotten it like that before in 20 years. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. I got your back, brother. Good to talk to you. Thanks for inviting me today, Andre. All right. Good to have you. I look forward to running with you all the way up that mountain. Let's bring it, man. Yes, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You had a chance to hear from our, our CEO of New Age. Definitely have a tremendous amount of respect for him. And I, I tell you what, uh, sky's the limits. You heard it. 2021 is going to be massive from a product standpoint, uh, geographical growth, uh, compensation plan, opportunity. It is up to you right now to take massive action. Help the people around you. That, that's the key thing that I got here was he got upset about people getting taken advantage from a financial standpoint, from a health standpoint. Go help your neighbors, help your brothers, help your sister, the people around you that you love and care about to increase their baseline of their help. Help the people around you to start to increase their financial situation. I want to thank you for being on tonight, but more importantly, make sure you thank the person who invited you on or shared this video with you. Take care, God bless, and we truly look forward to seeing you on the beach of the world.